What's up y'all and welcome back today. We are stealing the only three clickbaits in existence and showing off their new features, man. Sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Let's go. What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something a little bit different. We're kind of Stuck in the warehouse after Guggen Week, everyone's got us locked in. We're getting out with Senor Bassin tonight and wearing some of the new fresh fall Guggen Squad merch. You guys can pick it up at a discount with the link in the description. But yes, man, Senor Bassin and I are going to take on some clear water and try and get after some big old bass tonight. Jigging with Jordan, Yappy's out in the house, Jean B. We got the free range truck. We're having a lot of fun out here, but we're wrapping things up. It's time to go fishing. First mission, obviously, is just exiting the warehouse because we're kind of blocked in over here, but we managed to finagle a few things and I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can make it. El siguiente mes van a estar en el mercado. Estos son los clip baits, catch call los Guggen. Behind the scenes. Uy. Llaves. <laughs> Tiene las llaves? Dude, it's windy, bro. Oh, this is my camera, so I can speak in English. <laughs> I thought Senor was filming for his channel. <laughs> Dude, it's windy. It, it's... Are we going to be good at that lake or no? Ah, I'll fire the bite right up. We'll be fine. The hot tamale would the be The hot good. tamale, yeah, she might sink, but you know. There's the thumbnail. <laughs> I forgot the rods. Oh. Big show. Look at all of them rods. <laughs> I, I only use this uh, neutral density. Bring it on back. Ooh, the water's looking good, too. All right, let's get after it. Got the gear on deck with some new baits, man. Get pumped. We're about to get after it. You can use whatever I have. You just use all mine. This is gonna be legit. I think first time fishing together, non Guggen week. And guess what we gonna tear them up on, boys? Oh yeah. We got the got new Guggen Squad clickbait. This is our bladed jig. This is also a never before seen bait as the trailer. We'll talk to you guys a little bit more about this here in a second. I'm just kind of amped to get rigged up and start throwing these things. So let's go ahead and get it. Which color do you want? I kind of like that one. Is that the red? I'll take this one. All right, y'all, look what we have here. We got the 3.3 inch saucy swimmer, which I think is going to be the perfect size. Double plastic keeper top and bottom. So you're not going to be going through your plastics. This thing is going to be when y'all can get it. The sickest on the market, man. She looked juicy. This is the half ounce size. It's got that displayed right on the bottom there. Beads. This is a patented design. This arm is something new to the bladed jig genre. So uh, yeah, everything about this just completely unheard of unseen, except for right here on the Weston Smith channel to send your bass and Guggen squad stuff, man. You got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, boys. It's, it's kind of funny. This is a clear water spot. If you're in the murky stuff, usually the shad is what I would go with. But these fish here, despite there being no shad in this water, it's usually like, it's like bluegill, uh, just little minnows and whatnot. Somehow the white has seemed to be their favorite. So, we got two hours. Yeah, we got two we hours. Night, but we got two hours. Yeah, we, <laughs> we got an important yeah. dinner. Well, it's it's 447, then we got dinner with the Googans here in a bit, so. Guess what I forgot. Your GoPro? Yeah. You forgot your GoPro? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I already put it on the boat, I just remembered. Okay, 1080, 60 frames per second, super view. These should do the trick. We're literally using some of the only clickbaits in existence. Like, there was like three at the warehouse and there's none in production. These are like the ones that they're using to test them. We literally just stole them off the shelf. Yeah, so uh, don't break those off. With this wind? Yeah, this chop, that vibration is going to bring them in from a little further verse. Just a subtle swim bait that you might typically throw a swim jig. You know, you might think swim jig in this hydrilla and in this grass, but this little flutter from the blade might catch their eye from a little bit further out. We'll see though, we'll see. Ooh, feeling the wind now, huh? Good thing you brought the windbreaker. <laughs> Couple more casts for me in this pocket, this windblown area. You gotta pick them apart every time. Okay. Oh no, the drag, the drag. What is going on? What is going on? Dude, did you? Oh my God. This one, is it a two pounder? Guys. You got it, bro. <laughs> All it took was the right area. I think it's a little too windy for him over there today, maybe. Anyways, got right to him. First one of the day. Primero del día para el señor Weston. There we are, man. In the water. <laughs> Senor and I are laughing because I just explained this to you guys over a two minute period and I wasn't recording. So basically, I'm explaining why I walked to the back of the boat while I was catching that fish. The drag was not locked at all. Like it was all the way off. It was all the way loose essentially, right? So the fish can just pull that drag. They can get off the hook because they're creating slack in the line. That's going to allow them to thrash and create some leverage, get rid of the hook. So I needed to tighten that up 
but in the process of those few seconds is when you would lose a big fish. So I didn't know what I had on the line. So with that in mind, I walked to the back of the boat. That way I'm keeping that line tight, making progress as I tighten the drag and then can start actually cranking on the fish. We pinned them pretty good. I was talking about how over here, it's not quite as windy. I said, maybe they're a little bit more comfortable, man. They might just be kicking back on the couch. And I gave them the clickbait, but it might be a one and done spot. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> we hopped off the water. We're actually going to celebrate a very successful Guggen week with the rest of the gang. Let's go. What's up, y'all? We're back at it for day two, senor and myself. Dia numero dos. Woo, you saw day one. Not too much action, but don't worry. We brought the clickbaits out for round two. We're hitting the banks before he's got to head back to Georgia, man. So, join us at the pond. We'll catch you guys in a second. Hopefully some fish, too. Straight from the mud like Ruby. Straight to the stair, they love me. I understand they Looking good, man. I'm just gonna throw the buzz bait for like one or two throws. Yep. Oh, first cast, senor. Buzz bait. Okay. Okay. We've got a little storm front coming in. To get one first cast, I have no doubt we're about to pick one up on this buzz bait. Now, a trailer hook would be nice. Sometimes people will put a second hook right here. It's just got a little piece of plastic that you kind of slide onto the main hook. And what happens is I got short struck. So the guy saw this, right? The bass saw it. He went for it, but he just barely missed the hook. If you have that secondary hook, a lot of times you get those strikes. They see all this action and they're going for it. Kind of missed it. The uh, Guggen Squad Hummer actually has a keeper for your soft plastic. So if you were to put a little trailer on here, like if you like decking out your buzz baits in that way, like maybe a little saucy swimmer or something on the back, little crack and crawl action, little flutter, that would work as well. And you wouldn't be losing a ton of plastics. Maybe the old clickbait, maybe the brand new skis, man, the stuff you ain't seen before. Might do the trick. Yeah. She is feeling mighty fine. Woo! Senor's got him. Click bait. Nice one. Dude. One's on. Second one for him, man. He's one up at me today. Got him. Got him. Got him. This might be good. Nice and shallow. Ooh, I got a good feeling. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> All right. He smashed it. Stout hook on the new click bait. Woo! That's what we're talking about, boys. See ya. Dude, this thing just tears through the grass. Burn, pause, burn, pause. I hear this a lot for crankbaits, not necessarily bladed jigs, but if it's gonna get them, I'm gonna keep playing their game. It's got these beads for not only some vibration in the water, but even a little sound or clicking, AKA clickbait. Hand-tied skirt, man, which is key. Otherwise, this stuff starts slivering away. GS logo on the blade, on the eyes. Such a sick little combo. Hopefully we don't end up losing these, but I was gonna mention, we don't have every colorway. So typically in a spot like this, I mean, the water is very clear over here. I'd be throwing something like a bluegill pattern in our water. So now whatever bait fish are rocking your ponds, that's what those bass are gonna be targeting in. That's what you wanna imitate. This is more along the lines of a shad, something I'd see in a lot of the lakes around here. But I'm throwing it today, cause like I say, one of the few things we got, and by switching it up and kind of just burning it, pausing it, burning it, pausing it, I was getting a little bit more of a reaction strike as opposed to maybe just giving it a consistent slow reel where that fish has time to analyze it and decide, ah, do I wanna go for it or do I not? I'm not even giving him the time. I'm literally right in front of his face. You eat it now or you're letting this thing go. And so that's what I think made the difference with the color. I was working it a little bit slower for a while. Not as many bites. First couple casts I burn and pause, burn and pause, boom, right at the bank. Got him. Even though I believe these fish are on the move, I'm targeting cover. First thing I'm gonna cast towards is that little tree out there. Get right next to that branch. Bet you there's one or two hugging up against her. Can never go wrong casting next to cover now. Oh! Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh no! Catch and release! <laughs> there we go, boys. Tearing them up with the double up. How sick was that? Cast it next to the cover, but like I said, these fish are on the move and they're roaming the banks, and he just swiped at it right here in front of us, man. Sick! I'll come over to you. Uh, we could tear them up all day on that thing. I just want to mix things up, try something a little bit different, and see if uh, they'll smoke this guy as well. So I've taken off the blade on the front, right? I'm just going with a saucy swimmer here, or underspin. This is pretty common to just uh, throw in some heavy grass, a swim bait, well, what I'm doing now, basically the hook is not exposed like the clickbait, so I should be a little bit more weedless and I can kind of get down deeper in the grass, maybe attract a few bites in a different way, right? Try and catch these bass, showcase a few different styles and techniques for you guys in case you're out there pond fishing. But we do also have this little blade for a little extra flash. I would advise using something like an underspin versus just a standard weighted belly hook if it's a little breezy like this. 
you know, you're thinking spinner bait, you're thinking bladed jig, you're also thinking something like this, an underspin with a saucy swimmer. Good size profile, goby color right here. Bet you we get one pretty quick. <laughs> After like 10 to 15 minutes with this, I definitely should have got bit. We are switching it up once again, ladies and gents. I do still want to throw something moving with the breeze here, with the overcast sky. I do believe they are on the move and they will chase. Y'all want to get into some swim baits? This is one of the easiest ways to do it. Mike Buka, baby bull shad collaboration with Catch Company. You guys can grab this as all the other baits that Senor Bass Fishing and myself have been throwing today. Carl's bait and tackle, man. That's where we get about 90% of our tackle we throw in the videos. Grab you a little guy like this. He'll be cruising, bass can't resist. Oh wow, they gonna get hooked. That looks ridiculous. I mean, you want to talk about a swim. Oh, he blew up on it. He's got it. He's got it. All right, there we go. There we go, boys. Get her done. See you, bud. Sick little day of bank fishing with Juan, man. Drop a like if you guys are enjoying this one so far. It actually helps us grow the channel and do some more sick fishing videos like this for you guys showcasing new stuff. Oh my gosh, we just got bumped too and I paused it. Tilt your phone from horizontal to vertical, hit that like button and resume what is about to be this next catch because uh, firm pause, firm pause. Fight, yep, got him. He came up, that was sick. Biggest one of the day for sure. Oh man, this one might be three, four pounds actually. Oh, get him above the grass. Woo! Oh boys. That's the pawn donkey we's after. <laughs> That's the one we wanted right there. That might close us out, boys. That's a fatty. There we go, man. That's what we are talking about. Man, I bet you that one goes for three pounds, but I don't want to keep him out of the water, so we're going to get him back. Scales over yonder. We'll see you, bud. Thank you so much. Senor, where are you at? What you got now? They've seen this guy go by a hundred times now. Switching things up on you yet again. I'm gonna throw a little Texas rig for a second. I might swim it, but I might also just uh, let it dangle down to the bottom and see if we can't get something. We're just trying to switch things up for you guys. Senor's got a, a jig over here, cracking crawl trailer. And then yeah, mine's even more subtle. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a fish, that's a fish on the crawl. There we go, come on. Oh, in the tree. <laughs> Woo! You got to get out here, boys. Dude, sometimes these conditions just bring them out. Yeah, when he jumped, I was like, oh, dang. What's he got? <laughs> oh, okay. That's the, that's the never before seen. Never before seen, baby. Rattling <laughs> chunk? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's on again. <laughs> he tricked me. He said, I'm good, let's go. Then he catches another one, man. I'm all the way halfway to the truck. Smacked it. I mean, she just, look at that, perfect. <laughs> On the way out. Yeah, I, I needed to get a, another cast in. I, need, I just needed to get one more, you know? <laughs> I mean, cause you were like out fishing me bad, bro. Like I, I caught a couple today. I got lucky, I think, yeah, but. Yeah, uh, like five, six today, what? If it's six, I'd be surprised, but I might've got five for sure. Yeah. Anyway, that's my number five, I think, four or five, but nice one. Dude, crushing it out here today. What a sick little spot in beautiful weather. All right, man, we are back at the warehouse dropping Senor off because he has got to make his flight back to Georgia. But first, I gotta pick those up. Returning. The clickbaits, man, the one and only, the only in existence at this time. You guys, of course, are going to be able to grab these in November from none other than Carl's Bait and Tackle, man. Link in the description as usual. Save up to 30% off of your baits with Carl's Bait and Tackle. Sign up as a Carl's Club member, like your boy. Save on stuff like the new rattling chunks that are coming out very soon. This is what you saw Senor catch his last one or two fish on. Essentially a cross style bait with a little rattle, almost like think the rattling Ned. Just a more finesse craw. Tons of applications for this little guy. Give this a listen. Let me put him up to the mic. Yes, we're gonna talk a lot about this more in the next episode. So guys, do not forget to subscribe. Turn notifications on if you wanna see more of the latest from Guggen Baits. It's not just this. I got some more for you guys. New Guggen Baits that have never been used or even seen on our channel before. And I think on almost all the Guggen Squad channels, really the stuff has not been seen. So yeah, don't forget if you guys know anybody who speaks Spanish and wants to watch some more fishing content but feels like there's not much out there for them, they have to absolutely go check out Senor Bass Fishing's channel, link down below.